Hi, my name is Tim. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showcasing an AI that I recently made. It's an AI that plays the classic Google Chrome Dino game. This AI was a lot harder for the computer to train than the previous AI that I made, the Flappy Bird AI. This AI took about 10 hours for me to make. Uh, it was a lot of debugging. I start from scratch making the game. The game was was okay to make. It was a bit harder than Flappy Bird to make, but it was it was it was easy compared to the uh, training part of it. The training part of it, for me, I have to figure out a lot of stuff like what's the best you know input for the dinosaur to train and how many uh, mutational rates sh should I you know use how much how strong the mutation is how big the population size is what should the output be and what should the uh, activation function be what should the how should we determine the output from the activation function result so it was a lot of uh, stuff for me to think about and a lot of stuff for me to debug in the end as well and this AI is I was pretty proud of it to be able to make this before I show you the gameplay of the AI, uh, please smash a like on the video, please. If you enjoy watching content like this or you're curious about AI or uh, if you just want to support me in general, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn about coding, if you're interested in learning about coding, subscribe to the channel as well. I make uh, Java tutorials and I'm also planning on making Python tutorials. JavaScript tutorials and maybe even scratch tutorials for beginners So let's show you the gameplay of this game So for those of you guys who are not familiar with this game This is basically the game that you know shows up on your browser Your Chrome browser specifically when you don't have Wi-Fi This game was uh, easier for me than the Flappy Bird, but it was harder for the computer. Uh, you know, remember from the previous video, if you haven't watched it, uh, basically what happened was that it took about third generation. So on the third generation, the AI was able to be perfected. And each generation has about 20 Flappy Birds. So it was pretty easy for the computer to figure out the best neural network for the game. However, this was the different story. This right here is a lot harder, a hundred times, about a hundred times harder than the Flappy Bird. It took 40 generations, if you're lucky, to uh, reach the perfect being, the perfect dino. And each generation has about 500 dinos. So it was a, it took a lot more to finally become this dino than the Flappy Bird did. The reason why behind it though was because there's a second output duck which is for you know the flying dinosaur that comes later on in the game. And let me show you the final result. The final result of this uh, AI it's actually really crazy I th when I think about it. Let me show you. So this is the final result. <laughs> He's really good at this game. I was actually watching anime for like three hours or something like that. And then I was letting it run. And this guy did not die whatsoever. He breezed through it like it's nothing. So why did is that? Whenever a dino reaches a score of 10,000, I would make it the best dino and I would archive it. So I archived it. So whatever I want to run, you know, the dino, the best dino, I would just, you know, extract it from a file and run this guy. And this guy is pretty good at it. I'll put the code in the description down below. And if you want to check this guy out, check it out. Uh, he is pretty cool. Uh, he definitely deserves some attention. So if you want to check it out, check it out. 
if you want to you know criticize my code you can criticize it and then leave it in the comment section below because that 10 hours of coding I wasn't I was honestly try, just trying to debug trying to finish it I wasn't thinking about how efficient it's gonna be how uh, beautiful my code should be so if you want to criticize it criticize it I would take the advice I'm sorry and let's let's also give some you know spotlight to the thousands of dinosaurs that died before you know this final perfected being came to uh, existence so let's run the let's start the AI from scratch this is what you see at the beginning of the video basically bunch of dinosaur 500 to be exact trying to learn how to play this game and you can see by the second generation this guy is already know how to jump off the obstacles and he's doing a pretty good job at it uh, we're lucky but but it does not know when to duck and that is why it took another 38 generations to learn how to duck and when to duck <laughs> uh, it's yeah that's AI for you but you know in the end it did produce a single AI that is unbeatable much better than I will ever be at this game if it take me you know 10 hours to play the game or even like thousands of hours to play the game I would not be as good as the best dino so this is how it all began just you know hundreds of dinosaur jumping learning how to play the game mutating into random different dinosaur trying to you know be to trying to get the best score trying to reach 10,000 and it did which is pretty amazing I think and if you like the video if you enjoy watching this video if you enjoy watching hundreds of pixels of dinosaurs dying and or you enjoy the satisfaction of watching one single dinosaur being crushing the game that you can never crush please leave a like on the video and if you have question about the code or you are interested into how I make this code please leave it in the comment I'll be also making a series on neat and AI programming so I'll be making tutorials on how to make your own AI and I think AIs are cool and that's about it also I almost forgot if you wanna you know check this code out or if you wanna you know run this on your own or give my boy a little bit more attention these boys right here some you know attention download the code in the description it's on github you can run it Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.